You know, I love it when I do these podcasts, when I talk about players that have beaten the odds, and heavy odds in this case. This gentleman was the first Southern California trained player to make the NHL. Now, I played youth hockey in uh, Southern California for a number of years before he came to Major Providence, eventually drafted uh, into the NHL by the St. Louis Blues from Denver of the WCHA uh, in the 1970 NHL Amateur Draft. Ninth round, 111 overall, May again, made it all the way to the, the, w, the NHL and had a really, really strong career. And, uh, you know, uh, everybody used to point to him as a great success, a role model for players from California. So today we're going to be talking about the curious case in the many lives of Mike Lampman. Now, Mike Lampman, 6'2", 195, big left-handed shot, played the power play for the Capitals uh, in the mid-1970s. Played some of his minor hockey before entering the USHL. His first season in the USHL was with Marquette with uh, 10 points in 25 games. Now he played as a freshman with Denver in 69, but his second season with the, the, the squad, 12 goals in 28 games, including uh, 5 assists. Now, what's kind of unique about this, uh, ladies and gentlemen, he was born in Canada, but his family uh, moved to uh, Lakewood, California when he was 12. Again, uh, and people basically say uh, his background, uh, you know, being born in Hamilton really helped him with his uh, high school years because he said, uh, excuse me, uh, in his uh, junior years because, you know, hockey's in the blood with people from Hamilton. Now, he eventually played 96 games in the NHL over four seasons for the Blues, Vancouver Canucks, and Washington Capitals, and spent also spent time in the AHL and the WHL before retiring in 1977. Now again, University of Denver, he went back for two more years, and these were the big numbers, ladies and gentlemen. 42 points in 36 games in 71, 24 goals, and almost a goal a game pace in 72 with uh, 30 goals in 36 games, grand total of 43 points. Now, uh, 73, broken uh, with uh, St. Louis, had five points in 18 games, and 34 uh, goals with, in 49 games with Denver, their affiliate in WHL. Second season with St. Louis, he eventually had one goal in 15 games, played 11, uh, five games with Denver, ended up in the Vancouver program, scored one goal with them, and played with the Seattle Totems for a majority of the uh, year with 22 points in 30 games. Now, he was eventually drafted by Washington for the 75 season, but unfortunately played in the minors for most of the year. Broke in in 76 with Washington, playing uh, on the power play with uh, Hartland Bonahan and Harvey Bennett, 19 points in 27 games. Now, he played uh, 35 games with the Clippers that year with 13 goals and 37 points in 35 games. Last season in the NHL, he had 6 goals and 5 assists for 11 uh, 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 11 points in 22 games. Now, after retiring from hockey, get this, he loves the, the, the West Coast lifestyle. He moved to Hawaii where he worked as a loan officer. So, oh man, you know, he was he was attracted to nice weather. Now, just to recap, he uh, had his debut on October 11, 72 versus Pittsburgh, and the final NHL game he had was December 3rd, 76 against the Flyers. He also tied the WHL record for fast and two goals by one player, where he scored twice for Denver in a six-second span on November 2nd, 1972 at Salt Lake. The goals came at 8.22 and 8.28 to the third period, cutting an 8-3 lead to 8-5. The two goals completed a hat trick and marked the first time in nearly 16 years that a WHL player had scored twice in six seconds. And because of this, again, he won the player of the week for November 5th after getting four goals and one assist in three games for Denver. He tied for fifth in the WHL in 73 with 34 goals in 49 games and made the WHL All-Star second team with the squad. Now, uh, he was a deep draft for Washington. They, uh, they took him 36 overall with their uh, 18 pick. But again, playing with Hartley, Harvey Bennett, the Hartley Monahan, they had a pretty good power play going with the three of them, you know, uh, the experienced players. Now, uh, he missed part of the 7 tree season with a leg injury he suffered while playing for Denver. Now, the main reason before his retirement in hockey was unfortunate. He suffered a career-ending head and neck injury when we collided uh, 
when Andre Dupont uh, alarmed the boards during Washington's December 3rd 76 game versus Philadelphia. His fall because of the, the hit resulted in an abnormal slippage of the fifth and sixth vertebrae, and the injury required surgery. According to the published reports, he would have easily been paralyzed with another hit. But uh, it's it's unfortunate uh, that such a good and promising career gave to came to an end. Now. He is a graduate of the University of Denver. He applied that to his years outside of uh, hockey. And uh, uh, financial uh, services business is quite lucrative in Hawaii, so that's probably why he went down there to continue his career. Now, the WHA was always quite, uh, all, all, all also quite interested in him. He took him, uh, the Dayton Arrows, which was the precursor with Houston Arrows, took him uh, in the, the first ever WHA draft in February 72. He was also selected by those Arrows, but in Houston, in the 73 WHA draft of established professional players. Now, he, uh, his big game in Washington was a March 30th, 1976 game uh, when he scored twice in a home win over Detroit that year. Now, he also scored four goals for the Capitals in the team's April 76 Japanese Exhibition Tour versus Kansas City, and you can listen about that uh, on the podcast on this channel. We did uh, something on it a short while, a while back. So, uh, 111th overall, a uh, long shot from Southern California all the way from Hamilton. You know, too bad his career ended that way, but things unfortunately do happen. But my God, I saw him play, ladies and gentlemen. He had skills, this guy. He knew where the net was. You can't teach that. NCAA players, I, I don't know if uh, this is redundant. I've said it many times. They know where the net is because they only have so many games they have to play in the season, so they're there to score. And like that uh, that goal game pace he had in his last seasons, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I, I could be wrong here, but uh, he's in a Hall of Fame someplace. So if anybody knows of what Hall of Fame he's in, please let me know. I, I'm thinking it's got to be Denver and the NCAA. It has to be. You know, you put up enough goals. So if you like what you're doing with our Vintage Sports File podcast, let us know with a like, comment, and subscribe. If you're a Capitals fan, tell, your, tell us your, your memories of Mike Lampin. And uh, I remember him for sure because, again, René LeCavier said that's the only power play they can put on the ice. Uh, with uh, Harvey. Harvey was a good player, and so was Hartland. So, I mean, Mike learned a lot in his short time at Washington. It just happened, you know, major injury can take care of you. Have a good day. Bye.